guys, welcome back to John's Workshop and in this video another simple project or at least at the outset simple project we're going to be making some soft yaws for my record number three vice that I've got on the bench and the reason for that is what I've been using is these so I made these when I was an apprentice probably one of the very first sheet metal jobs that I did and they've got some what's gone very hard now kind of I think it was meant to be rubber of some sort, well, hard rubber, but yeah, they're, they're okay, they do the job, but they are far too big. These are for a six inch vise, and mine's nowhere near that, so these things just keep falling off, dropping on the floor, and they wind me right up, so <laughs> they're going. So what I've done is taken one of the jaws off, so these are hard jaws and I've taken some dimensions off that and we've got those up here on the board just as a, a rough set of dimensions they're pretty uh, it's the best I can measure it the, the surfaces are pretty rough on these so so what I'm going to do is make two of these out of aluminium and I'm going to put some serrations on the front of the jaws now in aluminium I don't really know whether that's necessary or well, not necessary but I don't really know whether how endurable they're going to be but I'm going to put some serrations on anyway just because I want to <laughs> and I think they'll look nice so I'm going to do that for a start but I'm pretty sure these serrations are going to get chewed up over time but largely cheap enough to manufacture these while I'm at it I might make two or three sets of them while I've got the set up so that when they do get all mashed up I've got another couple of sets standing by that I can just replace them place them out with so I'll just show one set in manufacture. What I have got, I've got another record number three vice, exactly the same but in much better condition with the hard jaws in it and I just need to find somewhere to put that on my bench so that then if I need to do something that I need to grab hold of the, you know, something pretty hard, pretty tight, I use that vice and then if I'm dealing with some stuff that's more soft that I don't want to mark, I use the other vice with the soft jaws in it. So that's the plan. Uh, so I will bring you back shortly when we're cutting some material off and getting ready to make the make the soft jaws. Right then guys, we've got our bit of plate set up on the, on the no, they said surface table then, on the rotary table. Got my new clamps just lashed up for now. Um, you can see why now I tap the holes in the back of the clamps for those that didn't know what they were for. They're for jacking screws or whatever you want to call them so that you're not having to find bits of stuff to put underneath. Now as it's turned out, I have had to find bits of stuff to put underneath because I don't want to be biting into the surface of the rotary table with the end of a screw so I've just got some bits of scrap just to make sure that we're not marking or damaging the table surface so those four clamps are on and what I've done is blued this up and just scribed roughly where my jaws are actually going to come out of this piece so that I know where I need to be avoiding and this is for me putting the the crosshatch gripping pattern on for want of a better thing now I'm, this is really <clears throat> irrelevant this operation doesn't need to be done totally doesn't need to be done this is less about me putting cross hatching on my soft jaws and more about me showing a different use of a rotary table because it's not all about machining arcs and curves it's just another th another way to use the rotary table I quite fancy doing it just as a bit of something different to do functionally is it going to change the vice jaws in any way shape or form no probably not do I need to do it? No I don't. So it's an additional operation but I just thought it might be something a little bit different, something nice, get a bit of use out of the rotary table and a different way to show how you can use this for something other than just machining arcs and radiuses and things like that which is typically what these get used for the majority of the time. 
So what we've done there is I've brought my, I've got my clock in, and I'm just clocking across that back edge. So I'll zoom you in on the clock, and we'll. I've already trammed it in, but largely dead easy to do, just by moving the rotary table round until we're reading zero across that back edge. So I'll just zoom you in now. Okay, so you can see the clock there. So we'll just wind off, so you can see that. So that's all weight off. When I'm using a clock like this, when I know I'm nearly at my zero, I just put this, the tiniest amount of weight on like that. So I've got 5,000 weight on that clock at the minute. And then if I just move across there, you can see we're reading zero all the way across. So what I'm going to do now is take the clock out and we're going to set our tool up that we're going to use for putting in the cross hatching. And then I'll bring you back when we're doing that. Right guys, so I've incremented round to 45 degrees with the rotary table. I've made my first pass just to see what we're looking like. We're using a 3mm ball nose end mill, high speed steel, and we're running flat out 1600 RPM, bit of WD-40, and we're cutting probably half a mil deep, roughly. And I've got my mark, so and I'm going to pitch across 6 millimetres between each, between each line if you like and I'm just doing that with the DRO so we'll get the next one done now Right, we finished the first lot off. It only took a couple of minutes really to whip across there. I've spun around 90 degrees and we're just going to put our first cross hatch in, for want of a better word, in the opposite direction. So we'll see what that looks like. To get the idea, I'll bring you back when I've done the remainder on this side. There we go guys, that's got the jaws done. Well the 
serrations part anyway quite like the look of those that's what I was after something that looks like that this is more cosmetic than anything else like I said before so we'll whip this off now break the setup down and we will crack on with the next bits of the jaws which will probably be splitting them in half cleaning them up getting them to final sizes and then we've just got the two holes to pop in but I just thought that was something a bit interesting something a bit different and another way to show the use of a rotary table alright guys the next job is to split this into two so I've just put a sharpie line the width of the bandsaw blade pretty much down the middle over the top of my scribe line and we're just going to bandsaw this in half Right then guys, we're back at the mill and we're ready to finish these off to finish width or height. So we've got the vise back on, clocked up, a couple of parallels in the vise. And we've got about five millimeters to come off. So I'll bring you back when we're cutting that. Right guys we're just finishing these to length now so I've cleaned one end up just dropping it in on the parallels I'm not tapping it down because I don't need to for this and we've got quite a bit there's probably five six mil something like that to come off this end could have sawed it it's just as quick on the mill so we'll mill that off now
we go guys that's got my new soft jaws fitted to the vise and I can wave goodbye to these well I'm not going to wave goodbye to these I'm going to keep these I made these as an apprentice as I said and who knows one day I might have a six inch vise that these will fit so they are a bit <laughs> a bit dog-eared to be honest they've seen better days but they still sort of work but I, I will keep them just probably more sentimental than anything else I don't know or mental I don't know how you want to think about that but. so we've got our new soft jaws on pleased with those to a point I'm pleased with those what it's provoked some thought process in my mind is I've got two of these record number three vices this is the worst one I've got a better much better one and I don't use it it's sat on the bench since the day I refurbed it and I did a video on that and it's just been sat there on the bench kind of getting in the way really and not being used what's the point of having it you know so but what I do want is I want the ability to have soft jaws and hard jaws which I've got you know I can it's it's a two minute job to swap these over it's not a big deal but I don't want to be doing that every time I want soft jaws or hard jaws so it's provoked a thought process in my mind and that will be a future project I've got some rough ideas in my mind of how we're going to take this vice off this bench completely and have it stood on something a bit more purpose built just for the vice and how I can use my soft jaws and hard jaws and make use of both my vices so that's a bit of an inkling towards a future project and that will probably be coming in the next few weeks while the idea is fresh in my mind before I forget about it so we'll think about that and I'll bring you back when we're doing something like that so we'll just wrap this episode up now and that will be it for this week so there we go guys end of a very very simple project there so nothing exciting really nothing special but something that I just wanted to do for quite some time in terms of having some soft jaws on that record vice so I'm going to enjoy using those and not having to keep picking the the sort of loose soft jaws up off the floor every time they drop off and fall off because that was just getting really frustrating and as I said it's led me into a bit more thought process of how I can change my bench arrangement around and that's based around a future project that I potentially got for that bit of bench space where that vice currently is so lots of thought processes going on there all for future videos which will hopefully be a bit interesting so we'll leave it at there for now so thank you all very much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you to the new subscribers and we'll catch you all very soon on another video when we'll be making something else cheers